My extruder jammed last week halfway through a 3D print. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Hey guys, Justin here from Tin Man Electronics and like I mentioned, my extruder jammed last week halfway through a print and you know what, that's really not good. I really want to fix it and I know exactly why it happened and how I could fix it. Now the kind of jam that I got happens in the hot end, okay? When you're running the hot end constantly and not cooling it enough, not, not providing enough thermal dissipation between the hot end and the cold end, then eventually the heat rises through the filament and it gets jammed inside the extruder. For all of my 3D prints, I've used the auto cooling feature in Slicer to just take care of the cooling for me, but apparently it didn't cut it this time. I think the fan wasn't on enough, so it wasn't dissipating enough heat in the uh, insulating region of the, the hot end assembly. So like the, the, the whole assembly got too hot. When I turned off the 3D printer after it was clogged and I'm looking at it, you know, okay. First thing I did is I, I felt the cold end is actually hot. And, and that's fine, people might tell me, oh, well, that's okay, because, you know, the, the cold end will still get hot. But this was m much more hot than usual. Like, I have checked it in the past. After a 3D print, the cold end, yeah, it's, it's mostly cold. But this was hot. This is the culprit w right here, okay? And you guys could see that it's, it's actually thicker on one side. And so there's the, the 1.75 millimeter section, and that's the thinner side. And where it gets larger, it's about, it's a... Uh, two millimeters in diameter and that's that's too much that's that's clogging the extruder this isn't the only reason why extruders get jammed there are other reasons like debris inside your your extruder but I think this jam occurred mostly because of the heat transferring too much to my cold end and to add on to that my fan right now isn't even pointing towards the right direction so that's that's just hopeless right now my fan is kind of mounted halfway through this metal plate that is my extruder and it's blowing some air half of the fan is blowing air onto the cold end but the other half I don't know what it's for and it's just the mount that it's on is just cheap as hell like it's not useful so exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print myself a new fan mount to redirect the airflow exactly where I want it not this stupid crappy fan mount that Mixshop provided I just recently discovered Open SCAD, which is a CSG constructive solid geometry 3D modeling software. It's open source and a lot of people use it for their open source projects. So I want to learn how to use it and um, it's it's a programmed 3D modeler. So I mean already I'm interested. I, I do like programming. So let's see how it kind of treats me when I'm modeling this fan shroud to redirect the airflow on my cold end perfectly here. The main design consideration for my fan shroud that I'm designing here is actually this other piece that I printed off already. Mixshop provided me with all the STLs for all the parts so I could print myself replacement parts. Now this STL, this 3D model was included but I don't have that as part of my 3D printer. That's kind of weird and what it is, it's actually you kind of screw this on to the extruder and then the fan shroud connects to that. So. I just printed this off, but the fan shroud that they provided can be printed without the use of support material. So I want to design something that I can print without the use of support material. What I could do is design myself this connector piece from scratch and make it exactly how I want it, but I already printed it off so I'll just work around it, it won't be that hard. So my main goal for this little project is to more properly redirect the airflow to cool my nozzle effectively. And then the secondary objective for this is I want to learn how to use OpenSCAD so I could do bigger and better stuff in the future using that 3D modeler that people are familiar with.
Although Mixdrop provided me with this little STL file to print this guy off, they actually don't give it, right? They give you instead this piece already on the extruder and it's it's just it's such horrible quality compared to what I've printed in the past and like there's an overhang here and you could just see the layers like bit by bit. It's just it's a piece of junk. That's what it is. Basically, they just didn't want to spend more time printing parts for their printers which is pretty lazy I mean all they had to do is just add these to this part and the fan shroud and their kit would be altogether better quality and instead they give you this so this little piece isn't nowhere near as fascinating as my fan shroud but it's very simple the fan goes on it and there's a little nubbin in there that just keeps it in place and keeps it from uh, like changing position so it keeps it locked so that half of the fan is blowing on the extruder and half of the fan is not blowing on the extruder which I don't understand why there's a couple things I could improve on for next time this thing doesn't really look that nice it's kind of ugly actually but I could honestly like improve that if I spend a bit more time coding in the open SCAD to 3d model this way better and um, it's pretty thin like it's it's pretty flimsy if I I can maybe bend that and break it. I don't think I want to show it to my dad or any of my family because if they do, they're going to be like, oh, you know, test out the, the the thickness and the toughness of it and accidentally break it, which I don't want. Ugh, it's pretty thin. So I, I could increase the thicknesses all around, but I just kind of put it in with the other piece and it just fits so nice. That's what she said. But using this won't be a problem. It feels a little loose when I insert these two pieces together, but that's nothing a, a washer can't fix or a small uh, flat piece of rubber won't do. So it's just... Ugh. Another thing that would greatly help is having my own custom design completely. Because this little piece, like I mentioned earlier, this is not my design. This was just one of the files I found part of Mix Shop's take on the 3D printer. I found this file in there. But it would greatly help if I designed both pieces to fit perfectly exactly as I want it onto the extruder. So I just worked around this piece. But next time when I design this and I increase the thicknesses and all, I'm just going to design this part while I'm at it. And then they're going to fit nice and just, oh, 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 oh. it's going to be beautiful, essentially. Oh, can't you see? You're everything I hope for. Yeah, everything I need. And while I'm at it, at designing these two pieces next time, why don't I just do a bit of research on thermal uh, or thermodynamics or whatever it's called, the thermal properties of the plastic and the, the extruder to see where's the optimal spot to, to be blowing air. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode where I printed myself a fan shroud in order to get better prints with less clogging. Hopefully it's going to work. Maybe I'll put some updates on Twitter, which you could follow me on at Justin Tinman. Subscribe to my channel or uh, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the search engine optimization. I have a website at www.tinmanelectronics.com where I will be posting my projects on shortly because I have some more projects coming up and I would love to put them online for people to reference that's about it guys this that's that's engineering man that's engineering